Hello again, and welcome back to Fujit Blitz with me, Fujit. Hello. Basic mistakes. Let's be honest, we all make mistakes, and sometimes we fail to even realize that we made an error. In this video, I just want to talk about some of the most basic mistakes that players make that not only lose you games, but will also ruin your win rate. Now, there are certainly lots of basic errors. But for this video, I'm only going to focus on three, well, three and a half, which I consider to be the biggest basic errors that are easily corrected. And once corrected, they should help you win more battles and thus, over time, increase your win rate. Obviously, there's a caveat that comes with this. And whilst fixing your gameplay, that doesn't necessarily translate into fixing the gameplay of the team around you. Alas, there is nothing I or anyone else can do about that, I'm afraid. You just have to play the hand you are dealt. By all means, point those players who appear to be struggling to videos such as this, and maybe, just maybe, in time, the player base will start to learn. By far, the biggest error that players make, especially newer players, is rushing, eager to get involved and get that kill. Rushing, in my personal opinion, is the root cause of almost every single error, and it can actually be easily corrected. Many of you out there will automatically think I'm talking about yellowing, which, okay, is rushing of a sort, but that's a different kind of rushing. What I'm talking about here is taking your time. Don't be eager to get your tank into the battle. Be eager to get yourself into a good position first and foremost. Good positioning is crucial because from there you can apply pressure onto the enemy and you can then force them to make mistakes that you and your team can then punish. And that, funnily enough, is the general idea. This is a strategy game. Yeah, funnily enough. And in a strategy game, reducing your mistakes and forcing the other side into making mistakes is exactly what should be on your mind. You can call it map control if you want to, which to an extent would be correct. But first and foremost, it's all about weighing up your options and having a little bit of patience. Take this game as a prime example. Here I am flanking around in order to get into a position where I may be able to put cross shots onto the middle area. I'm taking it slowly because not all the other tanks are spotted and I don't want to get wrecked by something big sitting near their spawn. Nevertheless, I am able to put pressure onto their tanks in the middle and I force them to make errors, which they eventually do. Once I'm satisfied that I can then move without getting wrecked, that's exactly what I do. I move to the next position that will allow me to pressure the enemy. In this game, we use the terrain and we use the characteristics of the tank. That way we are able to control and thus decimate the enemy. Yeah, 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 some of my team rushed, like this tank here, trying to get that kill and all they managed to do was get themselves killed and back into the garage. By taking our time, by using good positioning and using the tank's characteristics, we are able to force the enemy into making fundamental errors, allowing us to turn the game around and eventually win. Now don't get me wrong, taking your time will undoubtedly get you some mean messages. And the next game is a prime example of both ignoring those messages whilst having some patience. Here we are on Rockfield, and once again, we're in quite a dominant position, oddly enough. We are able to cover the middle of this flank and also the far side of the flank. Now, when I saw the team makeup, it was pretty obvious that they would go this way, and all we needed to do was to force them to make their moves. As you can see, the Shark and the Annihilator on the enemy team have taken the bait pretty nicely, which is exactly why I am in this spot. I know my toon mate can get shots across on a crossfire if they take the bait I'm making and that's exactly what is happening. Nevertheless, we're losing tanks rapidly and as you can see our T-34 is rather aggressive. 
And once he goes down, he begins to moan. Now, there's no rule saying that just because you're a heavy tank, you need to rush headlong into the fray. You don't win games that way. You just lose HP and you end up back in the garage. Use your minds and your brains, guys. We were able to turn this around because we conserved our hit points, we took our time, and we made the enemy become overconfident, and we punished them for their mistakes. Simple as that, really. Rushing will only end up in you rushing back to the garage, nothing more. Yes, I get that the temptation to get involved is huge, and it's quite difficult to suppress. But ask yourself, what is it you actually want from this game? Do you want to win more? Do you want to get your win rate up? Now if you answer yes to either of those, then you need to learn patience and you need to stop rushing. The next biggest error I see happens to be players brawling in situations they will never win. This isn't hit point trading. This is allowing the enemy to take advantage. Obviously I get that sometimes you get suckered into a situation that is no win and you just have to deal with that. But there are situations that really require you to retreat and allow you to do so, to get back to safety and allow the enemy to advance. I see many players deciding to hold their ground against all the odds and they end up getting wrecked when all they actually needed to do was to back off and quite possibly entice the enemy onto the guns behind them. When you're faced with a brawl situation, you need to ask yourself the question, has my tank got the DPM and the armor to deal with this situation? And do I have the terrain around me that could improve my chances? If the answer to any of those questions is no, then you've no reason to be there at all. So get out of dodge. Of course, I know a lot of players like to think it's a test of skill to brawl one on one or one on three, but it's not, at least not at the start of the game. By all means, if the finale of the game means you have to go into a one on one, etc, etc, then of course this is the prime opportunity to show your skillful abilities. But when the game is in its infancy, it's just started, it's just sheer lunacy. Being outgunned and getting into a brawl doesn't show your skills, it actually shows your lack of skills. So resist it as much as possible. There is absolutely no shame in retreating at the start of a game. Sometimes people do this because they get tunnel visioned, focused on that kill. And again, this is rushing and it all falls under the same umbrella, to be fair. The last error I want to look at is hit points and conserving those hit points and using them effectively. Yes, all these little basics, as I said, do fall under the general umbrella of rushing, but using your hit points effectively will allow you to make that big push towards the end of the battle and help you secure victory. In this game, we again take our time. We get to good positions and we're able to conserve our, eight, our hit points until we need to use them. Of course, we take a few hits, but nothing too major. When the time comes, we will then use our hit point advantage to put pressure on the enemy and to secure the victory. Now, this doesn't mean that you need to sit at the back of the map for the entire game doing nothing. No, that's not what I'm getting at. What I'm trying to point out is you need to put your tank in a good position that suits the tank you are in, in this case again, the shark, and use that gun to farm the enemy. We are punishing the enemy for their mistakes in this game, but at the same time, we are conserving our own hit points. When the time comes to make that push, unless of course we get ammo racked, we are safe in the knowledge that we can either out DPM the other tanks or we have enough HP left to ride any storm that may come our way. Which is exactly what we're going to do in this game. And that is the point. Again, it's a strategy game, guys. So use your heads. Well, 
I hope that has been somewhat useful, and by all means let me know in the comments. As I said, basic errors cost games, and win rate eventually, and addressing these basic errors will in time help you as a player to improve. Now I can't do anything about the players around you who decide not to watch such videos or try to learn, but as long as you are doing your best to improve your own game, then your skills will improve and over time you will be rewarded. Anyway, I've been Fujit. That has been a brief take on some of the basic errors that I see in Blitz. By all means comment and everything below. And until the next time guys, just remember, stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking because that really is what it is all about, having fun and being happy.